so let us discuss about the control requirement uh, so in control requirements we need to control the speed and uh, the other uh, factors uh, that uh, basically uh, uh, contribute in maintaining a overall good performance and uh, control and efficiency of the system the fundamental concept or the control methods uh, or the control techniques uh, that are uh, available for controlling the uh, overall performance of uh, wind turbine uh, systems are the wind turbine control uh, and uh, basically control systems are necessary in order to ensure low maintenance cost and effective uh, performance the control systems uh, guarantee the safe operation optimization and uh, maximum uh, power output as i have discussed there there are uh, various uh, techniques uh, for maximum uh, power point tracking algorithm implementation so uh, the turbines uh, rotational speed and the generator uh, uh, speed control are the two key areas that uh, must be uh, catered for the power optimization in uh, the wind turbines so the question arises that uh, why should we cater, uh, consider controlling uh, the speed the basically uh, the speed is uh, controlled in order to ensure uh, that the more energy is uh, captured and also on the generator and rotor are protected and the power electronics from uh, which are uh, connected uh, with the wind turbines uh, power system and they are uh, uh, ensured and uh, safe at uh, the if the uh, speed is uh, controlled the th uh, third one is the uh, uh, prevention of uh, rotor runaway in the event of accidental or no load when the load is uh, disconnected due to the fault conditions the next is the uh, five uh, zones uh, of uh, which are basically defined on the uh, speed of the wind and this is the basic uh, uh, graph of the uh, wind uh, mill power uh, output with respect to the wind speed in meter per second and the wind speed is detailed on the x axis and the percentage wind mill output power is uh, on the y axis where the cut in speed is uh, 5 uh, meter per second and the cut out uh, speed is uh, approximately 25 uh, uh, meter per second so basically the cut in and cut out speed uh, are the speed limits uh, this is the lower speed limit at which the wind turbine is operatable and this is the maximum uh, speed uh, after which uh, further increase in speed is uh, not uh, uh, encouraged and uh, the uh, windmill has to be uh, stopped uh, using uh, brake mechanism so there are different types of uh, brakes available for, uh, these are electrical and mechanical uh, brakes uh, which can fulfill our process so zone one and zone uh, four which is uh, the cut after the cut out uh, region the uh, these are the no operation uh, zones so in zone 1 it is not worth uh, running the wind turbine at below this uh, speed and similarly the wind uh, uh, mill is stopped after the uh, cut out speed now let's discuss the zone 2 and uh, zone 3 and 4 in zone 2 the rotor speed varies with respect to wind to maintain a constant uh, uh, rotor efficiency and optimal uh, 
uh, tip speed ratio so in this area uh, maximum power is ensured the next one uh, is the zone 3 in which the blades are pitched to limit the uh, power to maximum rated value to protect the generator and blades the rotor efficiency is uh, uh, lower than the uh, maximum rating in this uh, particular area now this is the uh, zone 4 uh, the, and zone 4 is uh, um, uh, zone 4 uh, is basically when the wind speed uh, is uh, increasing the rotor speed and we have to apply or use uh, brakes uh, in order to reduce its uh, speed 